Here's problem 31, 4. A planar loop consisting of four turns of wire, each of which encloses 200 square centimeters, is oriented perpendicularly to a magnetic field that increases uniformly in magnitude from 10 millitesla to 25 millitesla in a time of 5 milliseconds. What is the resulting induced current in the coil if the resistance of the coil is 5 ohms? So we have a planar loop. Our number of turns is 4. And the area of a particular turn is 200 square centimeters, which would be uh, 200 times 10 to the minus 4 square meters, which we could write as 2 times 10 to the minus 2 square meters. That's the area of the loop. We know that our initial magnetic field is 10 millitesla, and our final magnetic field is 25 millitesla. So our change in magnetic field is going to be our final minus our initial, which will be 15 millitesla. 15 times 10 minus 3 tesla. And we're going to do it in a time of 5 milliseconds. Okay, and we're also told that the resistance is 5 ohms. By Faraday's law for average induced voltage, our average EMF is going to equal the number of turns times the change in magnetic flux or the change in time. In this case, that would be the number of turns, field times the area, cosine of 0 would be our change over change in time. So that's going to equal number of turns times the area change in magnetic field or change in time because the area is going to be constant. So we have four turns times an area of 2 times 10 to the minus 2. Our field, B field, is 15 millitesla in 5 milliseconds. The millis cancel out. And we have 24 times 10 to the minus 2 volts. That's pretty good. That's our EMF. The magnitude of our current will be equal to the EMF divided by the resistance. 24 times 10 to the minus 2 divided by 5 ohms is going to give us 4.8 times 10 to the minus 2 amps will be our induced current for a B field as I'm indicating going into the page. If this B field were increasing into the page, the induced B field would be out of the page and by the right hand rule this current would be going counterclockwise around the circuit like this. So our answer is 4.8 times 10 to the minus 2 amps or we could write that as 48 milliamps is the induced current. That's our answer.